Here's how you can make a spawn trigger loop in just a few minutes. This will work for any trigger really, pulse, move, or anything. Also, don't mind my editor looking a little bit different. I just have an extension, but the process should be the same for you. So let's say we want to make this square change colors rapidly several times. And instead of using a ton of color triggers, you can just use like two or three. So a spawn trigger loop can be useful for that situation. So let's say we want to change the square three times or three colors. Let's say we want yellow, green, and blue. Let's say we wanted to change instantly, so I'm gonna put fade time zero, because then it's just gonna change like that. So to turn this into a loop, you're gonna place spawn triggers below your actual normal triggers. Also, this doesn't necessarily have to be three, it only depends on the amount of triggers you have above. In this case, it's true because I'm using only three colors. And place another spawn trigger anywhere you want. This spawn trigger here indicates where the loop will start. After you go across this, this trigger here, the loop will actually function. Right, so to make the loop work, you're gonna have to give each column... So in this case, we're gonna give group 1 to this, group 2 to the second column, and group 3 to the third column. Now what you're gonna have to do is select all of these triggers, these ones, not the one that actually starts the loop, the, just these ones. Click on edit object and make sure these options are on, spawn trigger and multi-trigger. So as you can see, the spawn triggers here are not triggering anything, it's just set to zero. So the group ID you should put here is the group ID that is on the column on the right side. So this is the first column and the second column, which is the one in the right side, is group two. So you're gonna put group two in here. In this case, the column on the right has group three, so you're gonna put this group ID as number three. And when you get to the last one, this again does doesn't matter how many triggers you have, just this applies to any size. When you get to the last one on the right, you go all the way back to the first. In this case, the first column has group 1, so this is gonna be group 1. And in this one, you're gonna put the group ID that shows in this little spawn trigger here, in the very first one. Always on the first one. This is set to trigger group 2, so you're gonna put group 2 on here as well. So after you touch the trigger, it's gonna spawn like that. As you can see right now, it's way too flashy and there's no way to control it, it just instantly flashes. So to actually control how long it takes for all the triggers to happen, you can go select all of these three spawn triggers. Again, I'm saying three because I'm using three here, but in your project it may be more or less. So you're gonna select all of them and then you can adjust the delay. If you put the delay to one second, it means each one of these triggers will trigger each other after one second. So this is gonna be triggered one second later this trigger and another second later this trigger. Also this trigger here is completely independent. You can put it wherever you want okay so after we press play you can see that every second that passes it's changing color because the delay we set on these three triggers is one second you can customize this of course i personally like having all of the spawn triggers at one specific delay usually for a flashy level like a pretty energetic effect level or something i do 0.1 i think that's usually enough it's not too flashy but it's also pretty energetic and there you have it, that's how you make a spawn trigger loop. A few things you have to consider is that this trigger right here cannot have any of these on. And also, the delay on here should be zero for it to start instantly as you go past this. So make sure the delay is set to zero. If you want to make this more specific or something that is triggered by touch, you can click on touch trigger here. You can see it has a little box around it. This shows that it's a touch trigger and it'll only be activated if the player touches that with the hitbox so if we go through the portal it's not going to do anything but if you touch that it's actually going to activate so this is how you make a spawn trigger loop i hope this was helpful if you did find it helpful please do leave a like and subscribe and also join my discord server